We are back at the Mr. Knows organization with another discussion. Yeah, I seen the post. Yeah, I hear the women talking. You know, all of them, you know, they getting the bag, they doing their thing, and they ain't trying to be with somebody who controlling. But today, today we're gonna dive into that conversation. What do you do when you're with somebody who's controlling? And also, do you are you even in a relationship that's controlled with somebody who's controlling? Do you understand the difference between cultivating and controlling? Because a lot of times, you know, we don't know what it means to cultivate somebody, and sometimes we take it as controlling. Well, stay tuned, and we're gonna dive into this conversation with the Mr. Knows organization. You don't want to miss this one. All right. Okay, what to do when you're dealing with somebody who is uh, controlling? Well, first and foremost, this is something that, you know, a lot of people, um, especially women, um, you know, they tend to find that men are super controlling. And when they when they are in a relationship um, with someone who's controlling, it's really sometimes hard to get out. Now, before we get into like how to deal with being in a relationship, uh, uh, with someone who's controlling first and foremost I want to talk about a lot of people say they are in a relationship that you know with a part that's controlling but but it's not necessarily true so I want to talk first and foremost about what does it mean to be controlling because a lot of a, a lot of people they'll consider someone controlling um, because they don't really know um, the roles of a man in a relationship, the roles of a woman in a relationship. So let's clarify um, if your spouse is really controlling or are you just tripping? Now, first and foremost, you know, a lot of us, um, we, we are raised in certain situations where like we grew up seeing our parent, like maybe, um, let's say like myself, my mom being abused um, and things like that. So for my sisters, I know it was, it, they're probably like, you know, mentally they were on edge about being with a man who, you know, tell them like, who you know, who's basically an alpha male. So um, don't let, one of the first thing I want to say is like, don't let um, your past um, um, dictate, you know, your future. Because a lot of times, you know, we watch how our grandma our, uh, our mom, our aunties, or our uncles, our dad, or, you know, someone in our life when we were younger, we saw what they went through, and basically, we lived through those experiences. But you want to be very careful doing that. Why I say that is because, you know, some people, they are very on edge about, like, um, when they're in a relationship, because, you know, they watch their mom, they watch their aunties, they watch their grandma being in an abusive and controlling relationship. So the man may not even be abusive, but due to the fact that um, they grew up in a certain situation and in a certain environment watching that, they're very on edge about, like, you know, a man telling them what to do. Because, okay, for example, um, as a man, if I'm in a relationship with you, um, it is my job if I see something that you know that's not necessarily good for you it is my job to voice that now uh, when when the, there's a difference between giving advice there's a there's a difference between um you know trying to show you something that's better for you than controlling you um controlling you is when i said man you better not do this you can't do this um i give you no choice you have no choice but to do what i say now, if I'm with you, and let's just say you, you're hanging out with a group of friends, um, and I notice that, and I'm like, hey, you know, um, the group of friends that you're hanging out with, I don't think those people, you know, represent who, um, who you are or where you're trying to go. You should be mindful of the people you're hanging out with. That is not controlling. Controlling is more like um, you can't hang out with those, uh, with those friends. If I see you hanging out with those friends, you're going to see what I do about it. That's more on the controlling side. But some some people will confuse, um, you know, giving good advice for being controlling. Uh, almost like you can't have no opinions on what they're doing because um, they're supposed to do whatever they want. That is not true. When you are in a relationship, 
uh, with someone, fe female or male, you should be able to notice something and be able to go to the person and be like, hey, um, I noticed this and from what I noticed, this and that can happen. That is not controlling. That is basically observation because a lot of times there's a lot of things we cannot see. So that is not controlling. So the first thing, um, you want to be careful um, because you want to be careful on what to, to, uh, on what you call controlling. Is what the person doing really controlling or are you just reliving in the past? Or are you just afraid of you know going through what your mom went through going through, like I said, your auntie, your uncle, or dad, whoever it, it was that went through something that has you on edge. Uh, we, we, we must heal from those past experience. Now, once you've taken the time um, to, to verify or to see that, um, that the person is actually controlling or not based on the situation, now I would recommend now you want to see at what level and what I mean at what level um, at what level are they controlling now anyone that's controlling is not a good thing controlling um, being a, in a controlling relationship is not a good thing because most of the time when you're in a relationship that uh, your partner is controlling it will become abusive it will become abusive uh, because control um, when when someone is controlling, um, most of the time, when things are not being done um, how they said uh, how they want it to be done, um, they will most of the time will be abusive towards the partner, either verbally abusive or sometimes even physically abusive. So that is why I advise to um, never, never, you know. If, a, if you're in a relationship, uh, abusive relationship and never make excuses for that person, the best thing for you to do is to leave. Now, um, a lot of time they don't start off like at level 10. That's why I said what level they are. Now, sometimes um, people may give, you know, we are all, especially men, we're very territorial. Uh, we're very territorial, meaning like, you know, what is ours is ours. So sometimes it may seem like uh, we may give hints of like, okay, man, he's trying to control me. And that's because it's coming from that territorial um, mindset. So um, there are minor levels, but you must be careful with that. Because if you notice as time goes on, the person is constant, like, you know, it's getting more, it's progressing, it's progressing. The person's controlling like how you talk, how you walk, who you hang out with like everything, all aspect of your life, then you really want to be careful. You want to be careful. Now, don't wait till you get to the level 10. Um, there's been situations where like, you know, uh, people can't leave, um, can't leave their house without their spouse permission. Um, there's been, um, the, uh, the partner cannot spend no money without the spouse permission. And believe it or not, it's happened with men and women because there are some people just think like it's women is men that's controlling there are a lot of women that can be very very controlling like um, they'll tell a man oh you can't go you can't hang out with friends oh um you can i don't want you to talk to so and so da -da 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 -da. because of like i said going back to like um things that they're dealing with it, um some of them can be jealousy um, some of them could be past experience of uh, abuse um, when they uh, watched um, a parent or a loved one be abused and things like that, so forth and so on. So we cannot just categorize um, controlling as a man thing. There are some women who really, really desires and want control, and that is not a good thing either. Uh, in a relationship, um, we should have understanding. We should be able to come together. If there's an issue, we come together um, and we make a mutual decision. Now, in some circumstances, when you are married, if you can't come to a mutual understanding, yes, the man must make, um, with the counsel of God and other, maybe another advisor, 
make the best decision for his family, for you guys. But the best case is coming together and making a mutual, having a mutual agreement, making a mutual decision. That is what I think um, God um, intend for us. But at the end of the day, we we uh, were men and women. Uh, we are um, some of us were from different upbringings, so we view things differently. So at the end of the day, um, there will be some decisions where we may not be able to agree. That may, especially when, when you're married, that the man have to make the final decision. Now that does not mean um, it's my way or the highway, because in marriage if there's no highway. Um, and marriage is for better or for worse. Um, it's a death do us part. But when you're dating somebody, you want to date someone that, um, especially for females, I'm saying this for females, you want to date somebody that you respect their decisions. Um, what I mean by that, you don't want to basically be with a man that you disagree with most of the most of his views, you disagree with his way of living, you disagree with basically most of what he has to say. Because at the end of the day, that is the, um, the man is going to lead you. And if you're with somebody, you disagree with most of what they have to say. And like, you know, in order to keep a peace in the household, um, you, we must, um, you know, live on one accord. If most of the decisions he makes, you don't agree with it, you're going to most likely feel like you're being controlled. That is why being equally yoked is very important. Equally yoked is not only in just the sense of, Oh, we're both Christians. Oh, we're, it's also in the sense of, okay, um, do we have similar ideas when it comes to like where we want to live, how we want to live, how much money we want to make, how we want to raise our children, like, you know, and stuff like that. Um, how do you uh, um, spend your time of entertainment? Um, you know, like it, it could be a lot of different um, things. For example, like um, if you're somebody you don't really like, um, being around too much people and you go ahead you marry somebody or you're in a relationship with somebody who's always out with their friends or a social butterfly um it could probably be very awkward for you or it could probably be like um you know you could probably have problems with that you could be like why are you always hanging out with your friends why are you always in nah, nah, nah? because you know in a sense socially you guys are not equally yoked so equally yoked goes deeper than just you know same religion but like equally yoke goes in the uh, in 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 the different aspects as well. How are you socially? How are you um spiritually, financially, um, mentally? All those things. You want to have those. Uh, now you're not gonna marry somebody who's just like you, but you want somebody who at least respect the decisions that you're making or that you make. Um, uh, and if you're someone that you've been told that you are controlling, one. And you do the things and you say the things you say out of um, good intention, you probably want to basically um, find a better way to word yourself. And also you want to um, better explain yourself. What I mean by that, um, you don't just want to be like, don't wear that. Um, you want to basically get the person to understand where you're coming from. Like, hey, you know, um, you know, I know. Um, you know, where you're going in life, you know, I don't think um, the clothes that you're wearing, the, you know, is proper for the sceneries that you go to. And I know you're not that type of person, but people can misjudge you because of what you wear. So you want to be careful what you wear. Consider like dressing this way and that way, that way. So it comes off like, you know, you're giving advice and you're not telling the person what to do. And also you're letting them know where you're coming from because you're just telling somebody you'll do that. It is controlling because it's like, yo, it's like, this is what I want. Do it. You don't voice th that it's for their betterment. So definitely, um, you know, you want to be very careful when you are in a relationship and you're trying to get a point across, especially if it's something that's for the person, the betterment of the person. Um, you want to be careful. You don't want to just tell them what to do. You want to better like explain or show them why is it in their best interest to basically listen to what you're saying um instead of like directly telling them what to do without no explanation um voice um tone is also very important you want to uh, be mindful of the tone 
Um, so that's um, is a few things you can do if you're somebody, you know, that has been called controlling, but you know, the things that you're doing and saying is for their, for the opposite, uh, for your partner's good. So uh, if you are though, somebody that isn't in an abusive relationship, like I said, um, one advice, uh, if it's here um, and it's time to go, um, um, the best, the best way is to just let go. Um, the best way is just to let go. When what I mean is just to let go. A lot of times people will just wait, or maybe this person will get better, maybe this and this will happen. But a lot of times it does not get better, especially if you have communicated to the person how you feel about the situation. So you really want to evaluate yourself first and foremost. Reevaluate yourself to see, man, um, the things that the person is telling me isn't really controlling. Because like I said, a lot of people sometimes, um, because of uh, post-trauma, like, um, yeah, because of post-trauma they experienced in their childhood, um, childhood traumas of watching their mom being abused and being taken advantage of, grandmas, aunties, and things like that, you know, they're on guard about, oh, don't tell me what to do to that. They're on guard because they don't want to end up in the same predicament as their mom, their grandma, their aunties. So you want to, and sometimes that causes a conflict because the person, um, how, the things that they're telling you is for your good and they're not being controlling, but because you're so on guard, um, you know, you push them back. Oh, you're controlling it or not. A lot of women are just quick to use, man, you're so controlling because, you know, they're not used to, um, for those who was not raised without a father, they never got to see how a true father, you know, raised the household. So they're so used to like their mom running the household. So when it's time to be in a relationship and a man is telling them what to do, it's like, oh, you're not going to tell me what to do. You're not my daddy. You know, you know, da, da, da. And that all stems from, you know, their upbringing. So you want to be, you don't want to be that person that, you know, that carry the baggage of your past. So you really want to reevaluate yourself, see if um, um, you're coming off from a from a place where of trauma, of hurt, and things like that. Because a lot of times, um, you know, what we consider controlling is not, especially um, with the, with the man. It's a man being a man. A man is called to cultivate um, his woman. By uh, to cultivate her is to train her, is to teach her. Um, you know, like you don't just have the perfect wife. Um, you have to build in a sense, the perfect wife. You have to build her with word of affirmation. You have to build her with prayer. You have to build her with the way you treat her. You have to build her by, you know, teaching her, telling her like, you know, how you like things, how you want to see things, your views of life are perfect. There's no such thing. You don't just have a wife. A wife is built up. So, you know, a lot of times women who are not uh, familiar with that type of structure, they, they they rebel against a man cultivating them. So a man is not really trying to control them, but they're cultivating. Don't be that one. All them, lay, all them girls like, ain't no man gonna control me. Don't be that one. Let understand the difference between controlling and cultivating. Power question, power question of the of the day. What is one thing that um, women find that when a man do it, it comes off controlling? What is that thing? Comment down below what is that thing, and um, we'll get to it. That was another discussion with the Mr. Noah's organization. Hey, go ahead, subscribe right now. One important thing: do not leave the video without hitting that notification bell. Because that it is that bell. Every time we have a video, we release a video once a week. But it's hitting that notification bell that will allow you to see our videos every time. Right when we hit it. Right when we post. Right when we post, you'll get that video. So, not only, for, not only to subscribe, hit that notification bell and like the video. Um, 